Good morning. Today we are going to discuss the Bushworld Igneous Complex, also known as BIC, that is Bushworld Igneous Complex. The Bushworld Igneous Complex is a layered igneous intrusion at the edge of Great Geological Basin, the Transvaal Basin, located north. Part of northern part, you can say, of South Africa, having an area that is sixty-six thousand kilometer square. The Bushworld Igneous Complex cover a pear-shaped area in the central Transvaal. It divides into eastern and western lobe with further northern extension. All these sections were formed around the same time, about two billion years ago, and remarkably similar. Vast quantities of molten rock from Earth's mantle were brought to the surface through long vertical cracks in the Earth crust. Huge arcuatic differentiated lobelithic intrusions, creating geological intrusions known as Bushworld Igneous Complex. The complex varies in thickness in places reaching nine kilometer thick. Lithologies varying from largely ultramafic, periodic, chromatic. Argentinebergite and bronzonite in the lower section to mafic, norite, anorthosite, gabbro at the top. You are going to say that towards the top. The mafic Argentinebergite layers suits are followed by felsic layers. This is Levoa granite suit. The complex contains the world's largest reserves of platinum group of metals. That is the platinum group of metals, and the that are your platinum, palladium, osmium, iridium, rhodium, and ruthenium, along with vast quantities of iron, tin, chromium, titanium, and vanadium. Means from the economic point of view, this you can say the your platinum group of metals. In addition to your iron, tin, chromium, titanium, vanadium, that are the you can say the economic importance of this bushwardening complex. Gabbro and norite is also quarried from parts of the complex. And rendered into dimensional stones. That is from that point of view, economic point of view. This means <coughs> this is layer degrees into the the <coughs> bushworld. The bushworld complex is made up of you can Rustenberg layer suits. The Lebo granites and Roengberg felsics. It is underlain by rocks from Transvaal supergroup and overlain by Karoo sediments. The Rustenberg layer suit contains mainly mafic rocks and is divided into number of different zones. The main rock types and minerals found in these zones can be classified as. In the upper zone, the minerals are your olivine, clinopyroxene, plagioclase, magnetite, apatite, and the rock types are your gabbro, anorthosite, and magnetite. You can say means the uppermost zone. That is there is that that is the olivine, clinopyroxene, plagioclase, magnetite. Then the next is your main. The minerals are your Orthorhombic pyroxene, clinopyroxene, plagioclase, and the rock types are your pyroxenite, anorthosite, and gabbronite. 
then next zone is your upper critical that is opx plagioclase chromium and the rock types are your pyroxenite anthracite norite then next is your lower critical layer zone and the minerals in that are opx and chromium rock types are your pyroxenite chromitite and the lower zone have minerals olivine and opx and the rock types are your dunite pyroxenite azenbergite the bushwell ignis complex is large layer intrusion in placed in into stable cratonic setting it has been considered as intrusive equivalent of continental flood basalt province and inferred to be related to mantle plume that was given by halton 1995 <coughs> the b the bushwell ignis complex was emplaced into capaval craton at 2060 million years ago it was intruded into transvaal supergroup which comprises very thick package of intracratonic chemical and you can say clastic sedimentary rocks ranging in age from 2551 to 2204 million years so this is in general when we say this bushwell ignis complex is in well famous this is as far as your ignis rocks are concerned because there is a great variety of igneous rock types that's why it is complex and it is also important from the economic point of view means the different you, the platinum group of minerals your then the other economic minerals from economic point of view that they, they are present are your <coughs> iron tin chromium titanium vanadium so this is the mineralization of these and from you can say from igneous point of view also it is in is a very ideal example of layered igneous intrusion so that's all about the bushwell igneous complex we'll discuss our this next such intrusions in the next class thank you very much thank you